Google just released what might be the easiest way to build apps ever with AI. You can build and deploy full apps without even seeing a line of code, and it's completely free. You're not paying hundreds of dollars a month like all the other AI apps. The question is, does it compete with Cursor and Claude code? Let's find out. So this is Google Opal. This is their new AI app builder. I feel like we get a new AI app builder every day. And now let me show you what it can do. So it looks pretty standard here at first, but let's go in here and let's talk about what app we want to build. I'm going to build a stock analysis researcher app. So you can enter in a company, research is the company, but watch what makes it so unique after I do this. So I put in my prompt here. I want to build a stock researching app. I want to be able to enter in a company and get a whole bunch of information from the AI on that company, stock price, investor tips, all that. I hit send. Now watch what this AI does. Watch how it builds this app. So here we go. In just a few seconds, it built out the entire app. You can see the app preview on the right, but what makes Google Opal really unique is what's going on in the middle here. Typically when you're in an app builder like Claude Code, what you'll see in the middle is a bunch of code. And if you're not that technical, the code makes zero sense and it's kind of pointless having the code there. But Google Opal, what's really cool is instead of showing you code, it has this canvas mode where you can edit your app with different cards and abilities, which I'll show you how to do in a second, which is actually really, really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna enter an Apple. Let's see if you can write me a report on Apple. I'm gonna hit enter there and it's gonna start working. So as the report is generating over here on the right, there's a lot of really cool things going on that you will never find with any of the other tools at the moment. Number one is, we haven't looked at a single line of code yet, and now we have a full app built out over here on the right that you can see that's generating us a report. We didn't look at a single line of code and the app's built out and we can see we didn't install any technology, we didn't have to install any libraries, we didn't have to look at a terminal. So if you're not very technical, this is the least technical app build I've ever seen in my life. It took us about 10 seconds to get to the point where we can see a fully built out app. What's also cool here is, as it's building and as the app works, you can see the data flow and the entire process of how the app works. So instead of having to read code line by line to see how it works, it's now in this really nice, easy to read canvas view where I can see data going from the input, which is this yellow card, which is what we entered in, to this AI card, which is what's taking the input and running a web search. And then it's extracting the data and generating a report. You can see how the app works without having to look at lines of code. And the last thing before we see this report is you can deploy this app with one click. I can share this app up here in the top right. I click it and I get a link that I can send to anyone and they can start using my app right away. I don't need to deploy it to Vercel. I don't need to put it online. I don't need to host it or do anything technical at all. Within 10 seconds, I have from prompt to an app built out, to an app live on the internet, which you cannot get anywhere else. All right, so we got the report here, company report, Apple, stock information, it's got the ticker, what exchange is on, this current stock price, the market cap. Oh, look at this, look at the key financial data, it's got all of the data, details, 10% increase year over year. Oh wow, so this is the quarterly revenue of Q3. This report happened, I think like 25 minutes ago, this earnings report, so it's completely up to date. Uh, that's pretty amazing. So I have this entire report about, oh wow, all the products, the services, everything. I just built an entire company researching tool with a couple sentences. I haven't even looked at a line of code. And I can even take this share app right here and take this and send it to my friends and they all could be using their own stock researching app. That's pretty amazing. A lot of other cool things here though. This isn't it. So if I want to edit this app further, I can keep chatting right here if I want, which is fine. Chatbots are fine, but I can also play around here and play with the canvas and add interesting different cards here. So a lot of other really cool things going on here that I haven't even covered yet. Number one is this is fully integrated with all of Google's apps, right? So Gemini, their AI, this is a Gemini card. I didn't even implement any AI stuff. I didn't have to put in an API key, which confuses a lot of people. I didn't have to choose a model. It just automatically integrated into all the cards. So AI is just in there. There's no technical implementation needed. If I want to change the model it's using, I can do that. What's really cool is it even has their video generation and image generation models in there. So I can even do something like say, generate an image of the company products. 
and attach to the report. Hit enter. It's going to take the image generation model, which is built into Google, add a card for that, which will then go into our generator report and basically customize the report for us with that image generation model. So all the Google apps, the video generation, the image generation, the deep research, everything involved is just built into this. And all I have to do is say, hey, generate a video with this or generate an image. And that all gets implemented into the app without us having to touch anything technical at all, which is really cool and great for new users. So it automatically added this new card here, generate product image. And now when I do a new report, so let's start this, let's put in Tesla. It's going to generate the whole report. It's gonna generate images for me. If I wanted it to generate a video of a Tesla driving, it can do that. I have a fully customized stock researching tool done in literally seconds that I can now share out with all my friends. And as it works, you can even see on the canvas all the data flowing through each card so you can see the building blocks working in motion that it built out. Okay, so this is sick, right? It formatted the report with the image of the Tesla in the background that it generated from the built-in Google image gen, which if you're using any other tool like Cursor or Claude Code, you have to configure the entire AI image model, which is gonna take some time, it's gonna take some technical work so it does everything Google related very, very easily. And also real quick before I compare this with Cursor and Claude Code, it has a ton of apps built in that you can just take and edit. So a lot of templates that they already built out and you can play around with. So if I wanna take a photo and turn to Claymation, that app is built out for me already. So am I replacing Claude Code or Cursor with Google Opal? In some situations, actually, yes. If I'm building quick micro apps that are replacing apps I'm already using on a daily basis. So for instance, I use a bunch of different tools to research stocks, right? This replaces it. You can just build out micro apps that replace your day-to-day -day processes very, very easily and then just share it out with your friends. Am I going to replace Cursor and Claude Code with this for building out my own enterprise level apps that I'm selling, for building out apps that I'm trying to distribute to millions of people? Probably not. There's a lot of deep technical work you need to do to, to build a large scale application out, database work and a whole lot of other technical things you just can't avoid at the moment. And Claude Code and Cursor are best for those use cases. But I think Google Opal is actually incredible for building micro apps to replace things you just do day to day, to replace small little processes to one, make them free because Google Opal is completely free but two, just make it quicker. Researching stocks, generating images, generating videos, little things you do day to day, you now can replace with Google Opal and just build out micro apps really quick. You don't have to worry about the hosting or anything like that. So this is, I think, a really awesome step forward when it comes to AI app building. I don't think you need a one size fits all AI app builder. I'm gonna use Claude Co when it comes to building out apps that generate me revenue. I'm gonna use Google Opal when it comes to building apps I just use for myself personally day to day, or if I wanna share it with a couple people to use it as well. It's really sick though. If you're in America, you can beta test it right now. If you're anywhere else, you might have to wait a little bit. I think you might have to go on a wait list. I'll put the link down below for Google Opal. I'm curious, based on what I just showed you, would you use this? Do you see yourself building little micro apps for yourself? Let me know in the replies down below. Leave a like if you learned anything. Make sure to subscribe. All I do is make awesome videos about AI and I'll see you in the next video.